For this short video on online learning for the fall, we're going to talk about pitfalls of online learning. That just sounds awful, pitfalls. I guess that's the thing that the tiger would fall in with the spikes, I guess. It, I guess that's where they get the name or the word for that. It, never really thought about it. It sounds terrible. So to, before we get started, other than me needing to go find a dictionary and look up pitfall, I do want you to understand one thing. What's in this video is not a complaint. The reason why we're going over these things is to make sure we knock it out in fall. The reality is I'm not going to complain about how we did in the past spring with everything thrown at us. I think given what we were given, the time frame we were given, everything, I think, once again, teachers knocked it out of the park. How could, could we have done better? <laughs> of course. I mean, basically, we all got hit with the same budget. But we had to create a whole new system. Uh, so time, we didn't have much of that. You know, it goes on and on. Thank you for knocking it out this past spring. You did great. For the fall, we're going to knock it out even better. So let's go over these pitfalls that we see. Over here, the first pitfall that we kind of ran into when we talked to students, talked to teachers, it was instructions. The background of the problem is this. For teachers who were using their LMS, so your brick and mortar teacher who's using Schoology like a champ. They have their assignments in there and they have additional materials. They are doing great. Well, the thing is, is in their brick and mortar classroom, most of the instructions were from the teacher. So these instructions were actually separate from the assignments. When everything started going crazy and teachers had to adjust, what was the easiest thing to do? To go in and put the instructions in the LMS. The problem is, is often they weren't connected or they just weren't explicitly stated. The difference between a brick and mortar classroom and an online environment, communication is oftentimes the biggest thing that changes. You lose so much when you don't see person face to face. Does that mean it's impossible to overcome no but the reality is the students miss out on body language they miss out on you reinforcing things they you miss out on the student be able to ask a question like hey miss so and so was that page you know and so you miss out on all that so what happens you have to rock the instructions not only that you have to have those instructions right next to those assignments don't have a folder of instructions and then I have to go to a different folder for something else, okay? That was pitfall number one. Types of instructions, maybe the instructions weren't as clear as they needed to be. And also the instructions need to be right living with the assignment that they're supposed to cover, right? The next thing is, depending on grade level, depending on the teacher, this oscillates a little bit. It's called the one location thing. All right, it's a highly technical name. One location thing. What is that? Well, teachers love online games. They love the learning tools. And there's a lot of good things out there. Vocabulary, vocabulary, uh, brain pop. You can go on and on and on about all these different things that actually are great learning tools. Many of them gamify learning. All right, this makes it fun. It makes it engaging. It's a whole lot better than a 10 question multiple choice test that you mustered up, right? So that's why we like to use these things. However, the grade needs to somehow come back to the LMS, okay? If you're a parent of a student and you're trying to figure out what's that student's grade and they have to go to this website for that last assignment and this other website and they end up having to go to five different places to get the kids grade that's unacceptable okay we need to make sure it all comes back what does that look like you might just want to require students to do a screenshot of their work and submit that inside of your LMS 
whatever it is, make sure that everything, all the grades, all the evidence of those grades, all come back to one place. Why? It makes your parents' lives easier, it makes your students' lives easier, it makes your life easier. Let's say a year down the road, somebody who has a special needs student and they're contesting a grade saying, you know what, you did not provide um, any ADA accessibility uh, on those assignments and you have to prove it. Well, do you want to go to 18 different websites trying to gather it all or would you just like to have it in one place? So here's the deal. Having it all in one place, it's good for everybody. Sure, it takes a little effort, but that's okay. That's So the next part is expectations. Some teachers rock this already. All right, so if you're one of those teachers, fast forward it by about 28 seconds or something, right? And it's other student work or you just having a very clear set of expectations for your students, okay? When you tell them what to do, and we covered this kind of in the last video, make sure that they know what's expected of them, okay? You want every student in your classroom not only to know where they are as a student, they need to know where they've been, and they need to know how to get to where being successful is. So be sure that you don't only give them an assignment, but you give them the expectations of what you think is a good example of a successful student doing that assignment. And the last part, which on the front end, when you're in the throes of being a busy teacher, you don't really feel the heat of this, and that's kind of the danger of it. And it's feedback. Feedback to students. In your classroom, let's say you had eight students who missed a question, well it's easy. As a classroom teacher, brick and mortar, you just say, you know what, the very next day we're going to go over that problem in class together to make sure everyone's on board. Well, now it's different because it's an online class. Sure, you could go through and make sure that everybody gets another video and uh, they can go over the questions. That would be great. But for each individual student, be sure to give them feedback. If you just give the kid an 89 and move on, well, in your regular classroom, if they had a question, they could ask. Well, at home, they get an 89, and they don't really know what that means. What did they miss? How do they do it? And so be sure to give your students feedback. It is super important that you can give them feedback, feedback that they can understand, but also feedback that they can use to become better students in your classroom. That's it for the pitfalls. It's not that many. And uh, now I think we all need to go and look up the etymology of pitfall. It's a good idea.